Are you a student attending nursing school after the pandemic? Or are you looking for tips on how to be successful as a nursing student when it seems like everything is online? Well, in today's video, I'm sharing a few of my professor approved tips to help you excel in nursing school post pandemic. Stay locked in. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Jess B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support. Hit that like button now, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. Before the pandemic, nursing programs mostly occurred using the traditional in-person classroom education. Back then, only 20% of nursing programs use a hybrid or mixed format of in-person and online learning. But that all changed in March 2020, and now online learning has become the norm for many of us. You might be wondering what nursing school actually looks like after the pandemic. Well, today I wanna to share with you a few tips on how to prepare and set yourself up for success in this new era of learning. Tip number one, familiarize yourself with technology. It's no secret that the world today is becoming more and more reliant on technology. Nursing programs are no different. Some of your courses will be taught online and even your course exams may be put online. I've even taught nursing labs and clinical courses online and yes, it can be done. As a student, you'll need to know your way around computers, mobile devices, learning management systems and platforms like Google Classroom, Blackboard, D2L, desire to learn mobile apps like Zoom and Nearpod and Kahoot. There's a whole app world out there word processing software like Microsoft Word and everyday online tasks such as sending and receiving emails and downloading and uploading documents and just simple internet browsing skills. Not only will these skills be important in the classroom, but you will be expected to use technology to research for your assignments, to use online databases to search for nursing literature, or even complete e-learning modules online. Many of us take these skills for granted. So if you're thinking about pursuing nursing school post pandemic, you should know that these are some essential skills you will be expected to perform during your studies. For most students though, it just takes time and practice and repetition to become more familiar and confident with all the technology that you will be using in your nursing program. So be patient with yourself as you learn. Tip number two, get used to independent learning Throughout nursing school, you will be expected to do much of your learning independently. Surprise, surprise. In other words, you're doing a good portion of your nursing program dolo, okay? Dolo, ain't that right? <laughs> what do I mean by this? Well, you'll be spending a lot of alone time getting organized, taking notes, reviewing notes, preparing for class, reviewing after class, studying for exams, writing your assignments, and the list goes on. Nursing school isn't like high school where your teacher walks you through each chapter of a book or explains the exact details of an assignment. We've got to shift your expectations a bit because the reality is, as an adult learner, you are responsible for your own learning and the instructor or professor is simply there to facilitate that learning. So, Things like getting yourself organized so you know exactly what is due and when it's due, preparing for class by doing the preparatory readings and activities, or taking notes during class and reviewing those notes after class to help that information absorb. All of these independent study habits in your nursing program are done dolo. But if you stick to these habits consistently, and make them part of your everyday routine each semester, you'll keep yourself on track and you won't fall behind. Tip number three, connect and build coalitions. As much as you'll be spending a lot of time alone, reading, prepping, studying, reviewing, 
Don't keep yourself isolated from your peers. Nursing school is not meant to be done alone. I totally understand that it can be hard to connect with others when you're looking at them on the computer screen and just seeing classmates virtually, but there's a lot to be said about the power of connecting outside of class. If there's a Facebook group, join. If there's a study group, join. There's a lot of benefit to socializing in nursing school, and though it may not be in person all the time, Connecting with your peers expands your social network and you're able to share ideas and thoughts and tips and strategies and experiences together with all the ups and downs of nursing school. If you're not a huge socializer and more of an introvert like me, then I'd say to just find someone, someone, one person that you can connect with, a study buddy, if you will, someone that you feel comfortable going to for assistance or support. Tip number four, be prepared to adapt. The pandemic has shown all of us that we have the ability to adapt and be flexible. This is a really important skill, especially as future nurses, when anything can change at the drop of a dime. Your patient starts to decline or an incident happens on your shift that requires your full attention and requires you to revise your original plans. Now, in nursing school, your true success lies in not only how smart you are or how you perform on your exams, but it's your ability to pivot and what my husband calls shuck and jive to changing circumstances. Your classes may be canceled or there's an outbreak at your clinical placement or your kids get sick and you aren't able to attend classes. I mean, you get the point. Throughout nursing school, there will be situations where your expectations are not met or your original plans are thrown out the window. The peaks and valleys are real. The bigger question is, how will you respond? Will you bend a little and make the necessary changes, or will you simply throw in the towel or get discouraged? So to be successful in nursing school post-pandemic, it will require you to be familiar with technology, to be an independent learner, to put yourself out there and connect with others, and to be flexible and adaptable to unexpected changes. I hope that gives you a little more insight and a few success strategies to think about as you continue on your education journey. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>